Hi YouTube. Uh, today is Tuesday. Yeah. A um, lot going on. I told you that I screwed up my back a week ago. Well, I screwed it up pretty good. I gotta wear a back brace so that way if I do pick up anything, I mean I'm limited at 25 pounds, I said. Um, so, that being said, I've got a back brace on. They want me to wear it for a week to ten days and see what I got, and I gotta go back and I gotta do another X-ray. But anyway, um, wanted to show you what's going on. I've got the septic in. We got rain last night and today, and I've been working on trying to get the yard leveled off. And, and uh, blow the hose on the back hole, so uh, lost all the hydraulic. He's going to buy the um, the guy that owns the back hole, the farmer that I work for. He's going to buy the hose. I'm going to buy the hydraulic oil. Works out about the same. But anyway, I lost probably five, six gallons of, of uh, hydraulic oil. And I I don't know if you noticed, but I like old things. So I'm going to try to make my trailer antique-ish, um, 50s era, uh, if I can. Um, found a couple things that I really like, and I couldn't pass them up. They were cheap. I bought a ringer washer. Our automatic washer quit, and it takes a lot of water, and I'm going to have to haul water this year. Well, I did before, and I always had to carry two loads every week or every other week when we done laundry. Well, now we're going to save a lot of water on the ringer washer, and everybody says, a ringer washer? And I says, it's cool. You'll see that. I'll do a video on it. Fifteen minutes. You only have to fill the tub up once. You can wash three loads of clothes, which is just me and her. So it doesn't take too much water, and I mean, I, we do our whites first, and delicates, and all that stuff, and then you do the t-shirts, uh, and then I do my pants last. Um, one tub of water does three loads. So anyway, that's one thing that I want to tell you about. The other thing is, I've got a sink, and remember I was working on the counter? Well, I'm going to make it a wood counter and I'm going to put what they call a gem coat coating on it and it's real it's a heavy varnish uh, it's like putting 30 coats of varnish on but you only have to do it once um, I'll show you what I've got going on here let me get focused in here and back up that's the remember I told you I was going to use that wood on the wall well I decided that's going to be my countertop I'm still going to go with the green uh, cabinets, but the wood is oak wood, and I'm going to varnish it clear. And it's got it's been setting and got water damage on it. Um, I don't know if you can see it with that glare on there, but anyway, there's different colors in it. I mean, it, it is all oh, different stains in it. You can see the the stain there, and it's different grain colors on it because it got wet. Um, the building didn't, that would have stored in had a leak in it, and then the boards got water damage on them. And they're a little bit warped, but I can get that taken care of. But anyway, that's going to be my countertop. Remember I got this other thing over here, that, that's other cabinet that I don't have in here yet? Well, I'm going to cut this off, flush with this, and then I'm going to lay another one this way. And I'm going to glue it onto that. Everybody says, what do you want to do that for? Well, I have to because them are not eight foot, and it's eight foot from this end to this end. Now well, these are only like six and a half or seven foot, so I'm going to have to add on to it. And I don't have—I've got one big board that's a wide one. Um, this one's probably 14 or 15 inches wide, and that's what I'm going to do. And see the knot holes in it, the worm holes. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's little little holes in there. Well, then we're going to fill with that gel coat um, countertop stuff that I'm going to get. 
and that's what I'm going to put over top of it. So I'm not going to try to hide any of that. And um, oh, I got to. I'm getting ready to redo the cook stove. Um, I got to take it back outside, and, and I'm going to just rub olive oil all over it, and then I'm going to fire it up, and I'm going to season it just like you do cast iron grill or cast iron pans. Uh, I've tried to paint. Um, remember, I showed you this in an earlier video that this stuff is good for 1200 degrees but it still rusts and it only takes like a week to 10 days and it's gone and everybody told me he says that's the way they did it in the old days they just throwed some lard on it and burn it well I'm going to use olive oil because it doesn't smoke as bad and it actually works a little better I think so that's what I'm going to do with that that's why the top isn't on it if the tops over there, there's newspapers on it. It's sitting on the other end of it. There's a top on it that goes on top, but warming tray or whatever you want to call it. But I got to get that in there after I get it seasoned. I got to get my countertops in. It's a rainy day, so I'm going to do that. Um, the sun's starting to come out, but it's still muddy. Now there's my septic, my yard from my septic. I got to get finished leveling it off and and um, I blowed that hydraulic hose on the back hole so I went over and I got the, the guy's tractor well I can't do nothing with that now that it rained because it's too wet and I've got all oh, some pieces of tile to pick up and everything but it'll get done and then remember I told you I was looking I want to go to in the 50s make it like in the 50s all right I'm hoping the wind ain't too bad, but I went to a garage sale, and this guy had this countertop and sink setting around, and asked me if I wanted it, and that's what I'm going to put in the kitchen. That's going to go on that wood. I love it. Antiquish. I wish I had a pitcher pump to put right here, but <laughs> I'm not gonna go that bad. I'm just I'm gonna use the faucets that are up there. The ones broke. I'll just I'll buy new ones and put on the top of it a little bit fancier than that. But that's what I'm gonna go with in the kitchen um, for the kitchen sink. The porch. I haven't had a chance to do anything because I've been working on a septic tank, but I do have that all framed up pretty close to what I got to have to put the window in. I've already put this window in. I don't know if I said that in the last video, but I got a window in. Um, mowed grass yesterday at the farm here, my neighbors, my boys. So I was pretty busy doing uh, grass work, I guess you'd call it mowing grass. Um, there's the old sink there but got the fire going in the wood stove it's chilly out I mean I'm I'm about ready to put my jacket on but about when I do the jacket I'll show you the the fire in there I don't know if you can see yeah you can see it in there and I'm gonna have to put some more in it that's how this works uh, there's two uh, I'll explain some stuff on the cook stove before I get it painted up and put together okay there's a damper control right here all right you pull this up and it opens up I don't know if you can see it back here or not this little flapper I'll move it see how that does that okay there's different positions on it but it also opens this one in the front okay now I can shut the front one by just letting it down a little bit but this one I can still keep open, so I can do one of two things. I can either get a lot of draft, or I can shut it down to no draft, or I can just open up the back and it gets a little draft. And there's different place positions on it. That's how the draft works to get the fire hot. Alright, now I've had the fire going oh, since about 10 o'clock, and it's 1.30 now. I don't know if you can see my temperature gauge or not. Now I've got it shut down and it's about 150, 
50 degrees, 160 degrees on a thermostat or thermometer, and that's pretty accurate. I mean, this up here is 200, and this thing is pretty good. It's pretty accurate. Um, I don't have it on the oven setting. If I wanted to raise the temperature up on that, there's another lever back here, this one here, and it pulls it up, and instead of the, all right, when it's down, there's a little flapper right back there. When it's down, the smoke and the heat goes right up the chimney. Now I've got it shut off, and it's going all the way across. It gets right here, and then it goes down. It comes down this little slot right here, comes across, and then it goes out the back. Um, I got stuff back here, but I'm hoping you can see it. You see that little indentation out here? And then it comes up this piece. With that flapper open, it just comes off the top and goes right out. Now with the lever up, it goes all the way around the, the oven, and then it comes in the bottom and comes up. So that's how that this wood cook stove works. It's an old Monarch. Um, we've had it for, oh, I don't know, probably three years now. Yeah, I think it is. Um, going on the fourth year. Love it to death. I mean, that thing, we've used used it hard over the years that we've had it. And I don't know if they used it when they had it going, but, I mean, it's just wild. I love cooking on it. The only thing is, the newer ones do it a little different. And in this cook stove, you have to take stuff out and turn it and put it back in. Otherwise, it'll get there's hot spots in the oven. Um, it'll actually burn it on the back side or on the left side of the as you're looking at it. It will burn on this side of the, the stove. If you put something in the center, it's not too bad, but if you got it over to the side, uh, it will burn. And in the back, it'll burn. If it's setting towards the back, it'll burn. So you have to watch it, and you have to take it out and put another, put it back in. you got to turn it. Like if you're doing bread or lasagna or anything you're baking, you have to take it out and turn it. Uh, wife has trouble doing angel food cake in it. Um, she burnt the first one burnt the second one and she says you do it so I done it and I done pretty good on it I gotta admit but anyway that's enough on that um, the house we're gonna get ready to move in oh probably towards the end of the month um, Friday's no Friday's the second Thursday's the first deer season <laughs> so yeah I won't be making too many videos I'll try to get some, but anyway, uh, deer season opens up uh, tomorrow. That's all I'm going to do tomorrow is get my stuff ready to go, and I've already got my places uh, picked out where I'm going to hunt. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to move my stand over there because it's a new spot, and they're traveling it. We've got a guy that's renting that part of the farm, and he's farming it a little different, so the deer changed with him farming it a little different from what the other guy did. But anyway, I've got it set out. Um, oh, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook water up to this. I'm going to get coals, coils, excuse me, coils to put in the inside of the firebox. They come in the back side, on the back side in, in this way, and they go inside the firebox and lay right alongside them grates. And I'm going to put them in and uh, I'm going to have domestic hot water, and I'm also going to heat part of the house with it, too. And I'll explain that later in my in future videos. So that's what's all planned. Like I say, I got the countertop started. Today's going to be a day that just getting stuff done in here. I want to get this table out. I want to get that hauled out, that countertop or that cabinet out. I want to get this one cleaned off and moved down there where it's supposed to be. Um, I've got to get that window sealed in over there where that plywood is. That's where the window's going in. Uh, it's a big long one. It's the one that was actually in this hole there. 
in the wall there. That's where that window was, and I'm going to move it over here. Let's in a lot of light. Well, anyway, hope you enjoy the short video. Um, it's looking good around here. Oh, and i got to show you my standpipe. I forgot to show you that. That sucker works good. So, there's my standpipe. Looks nice, huh? i got to cut it down a little shorter, but... I'm not done backfilling yet, and it's got to settle a little bit. So, anyway, that's what's going on in my world, and uh, we're getting closer and closer to getting moved into the trailer, and we're getting closer to being off grid. Thanks.